After a disturbing tip, in 2015, a PETA eyewitness went inside Daisy Farms, a milk supplier to Daisy brand cottage cheese and sour cream. This is what a dollop of Daisy really gets you. Daisy Farms claims to love their cows, but when cows were giving birth, handlers sometimes roughly pulled the calves out of their birth canals. This worker punched and used a pen to jab cows who were in labor. Given the chance, cows are excellent mothers. Here, a mother cow PETA named Annie gently cleans her newborn calf. But shortly after this footage was taken, Annie's calf was taken away. Daisy Farms claims that their cows are their babies, but within hours of birth, all newborn calves are taken away from their mothers. Many of the calves, like this one PETA named Emily, yeah. Quick. are then force-fed milk from other cows. Their own mother's milk will be turned into Daisy cottage cheese and sour cream. During the rough procedure, milk was forced into the lungs of some calves. Shortly after this footage was captured, this force-fed calf died. Oh, crap. Daisy Farm says that their cows are more than just numbers. But shortly after they were taken from their mothers, calves had tags punched into their ears, without painkillers, a common practice in the dairy industry. Daisy Farm says that they have the healthiest, best cared for cows on the planet. But a whistleblower found that disease, including pneumonia at the farm, was rampant. <laughs> PETA's eyewitness found that this calf named Joy was put down after contracting pneumonia. The whistleblower saw that many calves were sick with scours and that their diarrhea caused skin irritation and made them weak and thin. It was all these two calves could do to comfort each other while suffering from scours. Eventually, they would be killed. Daisy Farms says that their cows are their pride and joy, but this calf named Fifi was left unable to move for three days, and a manager denied requests to get her veterinary care. She was later shot and killed. Daisy Farms says that they are reinventing the dairy industry one cow at a time. But for Annie, Emily, Fifi, Joy, and the other cows, this is business as usual in the dairy industry. This is what life is really like for cows exploited for their milk. You can help them. Pledge to leave dairy products off your plate and instead choose from among the many delicious vegan alternatives. Go to PETA.org daisy to learn more. Thank you.